Well, hello there, YouTube. Looks like it'll end up being nice. I think it's just a, like a foggy haze. It's very warm out here, and I'm not wearing a coat. It's only 55. A little bit on the chilly side. As you can see, it has the looks that it's going to be nice. Woman, yes, uh, hubba, hubba. the vacation is officially yep. over. Yep. It's back to the grind. It's come to an end. Yeah. <laughs> it was nice, though. All right, I'm gonna head on down to the dungeon and see what awaits me today. All right. I'll All right. See you at the hole. All right. Love. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye. Bye now. Well, hello there, SV peeps. So, in lieu of next week's first ride and meetup in two years for me, um, I thought I would video <laughs> riding this uh, R1200 GS. <laughs> One specific reason for doing it is uh, Gabe, you guys should all know from the previous rides, has one identical to this. I don't know if he has the same uh, windshield or whatever, but it's the same color. And I think the same year, I think he got a 07 or a 17. buddy one time I didn't seek my eyes through them trees but I can see I know some of you guys have mentioned uh, that you cut them trees back well, I can see under them but there's a specific spot you got to look and I just did not do that Gotta love a BMW boxer. But at any rate, uh, a unitizer very similar to this here model is gonna be uh, what Gabe's gonna ride. And you guys, I'm surprised. I purposely didn't say anything. Uh, I made two videos about it. The second one I haven't produced. But uh, I'm gonna ride the uh, the BMW. I need to do one of these YouTube meetups and take the spider. I think if we go really far, like something like Yellowstone or something like that, I think I, you know, another one of those long distance ones. I think that would be awesome to take the spider. That'd be really daring and, and I'd be the oddball in the bunch. That'd be awesome. <laughs> one thing's for sure, I could definitely carry all my stuff with me quite easily. Although that being said, I'd, I guess I should probably find out what the... Ah, there's no way it could equal a Spider RT, but... I don't know the shape of those boxes with those uh, BMW bags. Oh man, that, that rectangle shape of those things. It's just crazy what you can get into those things. Which reminds me, I've got a... Um, I need to get another set of rain pants I had that the, that first gear rain pants but um, those things are whew, they're too thick they have no liner in them but I've never something without a lining that keeps me that warm I mean that's my full fledged just go ride in the wintertime pants and the protective cups and the knees and stuff like that just uh oh man they keep you nice and nice and comfortable so um, something I didn't know prior to speaking about the the meetup and ride is uh, we gained another person um, you know the gentleman uh, Rat Bob is his uh, Google Plus this is a uh, screen name but uh I don't know if he wants me using his regular name or not, but I'll just call him Rat Bob until he tells me different. But uh, he rides the uh, uh, Harley uh, Fat Bob. Uh, he emailed and said he'd like to come on along for the for the event. Well, this is something that uh, um, David and Gabe came up with, so you know it wasn't 
wasn't my place to invite. So I said, hey, there's a super cool guy. And they go, sure. He goes, we've already made accommodations and everything. And uh, so I emailed Rep Bob back and he replied with an email saying, reservations are made. <laughs> so he's, you know, going to stay in the same. Uh, we got a couple of cabins now, sounds like three cabins. Um, at this KOA uh, campgrounds, uh, I'm assuming they're probably, I don't know if they're going to be that cool log looking thing, but it, when we went to Yellowstone, we stayed in cabins. And uh, I guess it's, it's, they say they'll sleep four, but two people need to share, share a bed. There's only two beds, so we got two cabins. It's not going to cost much, uh, a little less than $70 a head. Although I'm concerned with Rat Bob getting one on his own, he's going to have to pay the full price for it, but he's probably like me and don't really care about stuff like that. I'm not joyriding this thing, there's actually a reason. I'm trying to forget something, which I have already, and it's working fine. So, uh, anyway, this is a super cool guy. It's funny how our customers become more than just customers it's weird uh, I love it when you work at a shop that you know customers feel like they're part of the family you know they become close with all the employees and that's just a lot of fun I like getting to know employees that work at a shop you know they you know, some people just have the stigma in their head that shops are out to out to rip you off and all this other BS. Nobody's was that a I just walked on. Seen people coming through a like a gate thing here. That must be access to what? That's not Orchard's Park. I'm too far away from that. Where is it? I wonder what park that is. It's not saying on the map. I always forget the GPS is sitting right there. So if you guys want to see a direct difference between a Nav 6 and a Nav 5, that's a Nav 5. So if you watch yesterday's video, where Kelly and I were riding the the Beamer, um, you'll see how different that thing is in daylight. And I know through this Hero 4, you're not going to which I was using a Hero 4 Black yesterday. This is my Hero 4 Silver. The Hero 4 Black, I just keep the uh, Cena audio pack attached to it. So it's just, it's easier just to use two different cameras. So you're getting the same, the same view. I'm reading a couple of reviews, the difference between the Nav 5 and the Nav 6. They go, oh, well, the screen's a little better. And I'm like, wake up, son. They ain't no little bit better at all. It is like, welcome, holy moly. Was it that important for you to get into your neighborhood to cut off an automobile? But yeah, I mean, the difference is mind boggling. That's a uh, like early GPS, that Nav 6, whole nother level. I'm always just amazed at how well I can see that thing. be a bad day at all. External temperature 68 degrees. That's around where we were. You know that could have been the tail end of Orchard's Park. It was only a block off. I didn't realize it it went that went that far. I guess it does. love the torque of these things. I think this is a dead end. You want to go check it out? What does that sign say? All dumping prohibited. Look at that. 
that's 205 right down there. See, I thought Orchards Park ended over there. Well, it has to end over there. That couldn't have been Orchards Park because that had been... What am I thinking? I was on the other side of 205. Of course it wasn't Orchards Park. Some things are obvious and it takes a second for it to click in your feeble little mind. So I'll go ahead and tell you, I've had this ongoing, it's a good thing this guy's a nice guy, but it's ongoing like you, you had to pump the brakes to get the feel on this thing. You know, I'd take it for a ride and everything would be fine, and he'd take it for a ride and come back. He goes, smoke, it's still, it's still, you know, pumping up. So I thought, I'm just going to ride and talk to these guys. Them brakes do something weird like fall soft for a second. I have to pump them. I'm going to freak out. That's something you, you you don't miss on a motorcycle. But every time I touch them, they're fine. So it's this crazy thing. And I was talking to BMW Tech Line. <laughs> it just goes, keep flushing it, keep flushing it. Going, Dude, I flushed that thing so many times. But I did something different this time. Ryan and I really like um brp's brake fluid it's nice and clean and even when uh you know people have exceeded like their two-year thing it's amazing how low the moisture absorption is the brake fluid just seems to last forever so that was the one thing i did different is use brp brake fluid and man she is she she knocked me through the windshield if i grabbed a handful uh, we're just gonna take it. I'm gonna follow that camper all the way down there. You got a green light there. Old feller's gonna take that turn. Ah, proper uh, left turn. You can see he uh, executed going into his lane uh, not so properly. Knucklehead people. But yeah, the brakes are... They can't help but be happy with this. So I wanted to kind of forget the bike. And see if they would sneak up on me and go, Whoa, not fixed. Which way are you going? <laughs> that shoe is still sitting. Holy moly. Can I get around that thing? Not getting around this. I might be able to get around that Felder's truck. And people have been filing in here, dropping things off like crazy today. Yeah, I should be able to make it past it. As long as I don't ding a cylinder here. Holy moly. It's like a zoo out here. That's what you call life in the fast lane at the motorcycle factory. Things just get over patent. Alright, that was a nice little ride. Non-canceling BMW turn signals. They will, but it takes time and or distance. There's no sensor telling you telling the bike you've already executed your turn. See if we can knock that spider tire. Oh yeah, she slides nicely. Shove that spider tire out of the way. Alrighty. Thanks for coming along on the clone of Gabe's motorcycle. It's amazing how no matter how many of these things you ride, they all run the same. You know how you can ride several of the same model and year, one have a little edge over the other. That's one nice thing about BMWs.
One's the same as the rest. Cool stuff. This old Kawasaki 650, she went for a good old rough ride. <laughs> Funny thing is, runs like a top. Gets perfectly fine, not a scratch on him. You guys wanna see something really, really cool? That's a BMW rally jacket. And I got the handles for the saddlebags. I didn't get the one for the trunk. I thought they'd look tacky sitting on the trunk. And that's easy to carry. But these become handles. And also they'll undo and you can strap like sleep bags and all that kind of stuff to them. I'll show you when they're done. Those are really, really cool. But I don't know. I hear these things vent really well. I guess I'll find out. Looks like some kind of a bladder of some sort. That's probably a waterproof bladder. The new, I think the new ones, the coat itself is waterproof. I think this one, you run the bladder on the inside. Oh, what the heck? I just grabbed the thing. I was trying to stuff the whole box in here and it wouldn't fit. Look, it's got a bag thing to hold it. I didn't even realize that was there. We'll check it out when we get home. Well, hello there, YouTube. How the heck is everybody doing today? Leo? I'm too We're close. Right here. I'm gonna I'm throw something at you. No. But anyway, come to the end of the day. It's kind of cool and windy out here. Mm -hmm. Leo. <laughs> he goes, okay, I'll play. But uh, anyway, I took that um, BMW rally jacket for a little rip on the motor vlog side. Oh man, it's super, super, super nice. It's a lot cooler than I thought it'd be. I, I took the little inner bladder thing out of it, so uh, that made it a little bit cooler, but that's that's perfect for me because I can fill in underneath. That's It reminds me a little bit of my climb windbreaker. You know, you can wear it when it's warmer, but... Leo? Nobody wants to hear that, dog. Stop. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the, the GS ride and talked about the Crater Lake thing there a little bit and a little add-on person there. That's kind of cool. Way cool. Kind of cool, cool, cool. Yes. Get a viewer coming along along with us. That'd be way fine. Heck yeah. So anyway, I got uh, lots of videos. As you guys know, the armrest I haven't done. There's a motor vlog on the Harley I haven't done. Uh, the first service I haven't done. And now the rally review ride. And talking about Crater Lake a little bit more. Anyway, he's going to drive us nuts, so I'm going to let you go. <laughs> All right. Leo. Leo. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And I hope you guys this Thursday or Friday are wonderful. And I kid you not, when I hit the stop record button and put this camera down, he's quiet the rest yeah. of the night. It's like he knows. I know it. Now, if we walk over there. <laughs> now, he now it's, yeah. Anyway, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching now. Bye, everybody. Bye.